This PS4 Slim has the blue light of death. This client tried our uh, BLOD repair kit, but it didn't work. So I'm gonna see if I can fix this with a reflow. Let's get started. I'm gonna turn it on and you're gonna see that this light keeps pulsing blue. It never goes to white. I've already tried plugging it in, so I'm not gonna wait, but you're just gonna keep doing that. Now unplug the power cable. Wait for the light to go off, which it did. Then we're gonna lift this top cover off. We're gonna stick our fingers in the front and then just lift gently. Don't use too much force. You don't wanna break any of the clips. Then we're gonna look at the back of the console. Normally there's gonna be a sticker here, but this customer, since they opened up their console already, that sticker's gone, but there's a sticker here that you're gonna have to remove. Once you remove that sticker, you're gonna see this Torx screw. It's a Torx T8H and we sell this uh, screwdriver on our website. The link's gonna be in the description box. Once we have that screw out of the way, we're gonna take the hard drive cover out like that. We're gonna remove this screw here. It's a Phillips. We also sell this screwdriver on our website. Once that screws out, we're gonna remove this bottom panel, but before we do that, we're gonna pull the hard drive out. It's got a, a band on it. We're gonna stick our finger in and pull. Now the bottom panel should just come off. So we're gonna lift from the back. I'm gonna be taking out the screws, but before I do that, we're gonna disconnect this antenna cable here. We're gonna remove these cables that hold the disc drive in. This one's a pull cable. This one has a clip on it. We're gonna lift, pull. This one is also just plugged in, no clips on these. There's gonna be the power supply that we're gonna have to remove to get this panel out of the way because there's this screw that runs through the power supply and into the board and also this one. from this side there you go so now that this side's out we're gonna remove this cable and I pull it out okay so now we got the power supply out and flip it over all right now we, we can get this panel out of the way and now we're gonna remove these two screws that hold the heat sink onto the APU chip All right, I'm gonna get that out of the way. Looks like that's part of our kit. We're gonna remove this piece here. Then we're gonna remove the fan connector from the motherboard. We're gonna remove the power supply connector on this side here. And now we can get our motherboard out. There is one more cable on this side, which is for the front antenna. And now we can get our motherboard out. Now I'm gonna try to perform a reflow on this thing and see if that works. I'm also gonna be removing this old thermal paste and putting on Arctic Silver 5. All right, now that I've done a reflow on the board, I'm gonna apply Arctic Silver 5 onto the motherboard. We sell this on our website. Again, link's gonna be in the description box. So to apply this, what you wanna do is, you wanna apply a pea-sized amount, like so, and then you wanna spread it out. All right, that looks like an even spread. And then what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna remove the old thermal paste from the heat sink. motherboard back in I'm gonna connect the fan connector the power supply connector back on all 
I'm gonna put the heat sink clamp back on. Gotta make sure these are evenly tight. If they're not, they will cause all kinds of problems. I'm gonna start installing the screws back in. back in. Plug this antenna cable back in too. There's only one way it goes in. You want to check the pins before you plug it in. This cable is going to be routed through here. I'm going to push this antenna back on and then we're going to put the screw in that holds it in. We're gonna put this piece back on. I always used to think it was a heat shield, but I think this is like a kind of like a grounding pin. I'm still not sure to this day what this is. So if you know, let me know in the comment section. And like that, only goes in one way. Front facing first. Now I'm gonna test the system. Now this, this, this light should turn white in a couple of minutes. And boom, you got white light. I'm gonna start reassembling this thing. Then we're gonna put the top cover back on. Back goes in first, like that. And then you push in the front until you hear the clips click in. Same thing at the bottom. This side with the power button goes in here first. Goes over the bottom like this. All right. And the back slides on. So make sure this band doesn't get in the way. And then click, click. And then we're gonna put the final screw back in. And we're gonna put the hard drive cover back on. Slides on like this. We're gonna start off here and then push it down. And it's gonna click in. And we're done. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Like the video if you liked it and stay tuned for more content.